one of the things Missen was trying to do is bring places in the world into the museum or gallery. He was always conscious of the center, which was in New York, and what he would call the periphery of the cultural world, which was in New Jersey. And he was always conscious of bringing something from out there, from point B to point A. He was so interested in history and time and, and those big questions, where do we fit into things, and a kind of search for meaning and, and examining the world and the cosmos even. There's a real micro, macrocosmic aspect to his work. We talked to different yards, and some people saw this as just an enormous headache. You know, you're going to get in the way of our normal business. Um, and this yard, to some extent at least, is looking at it as something that's, that's uh, fun, that's something interesting, that's new. It's certainly a very challenging thing to take an artist's idea who's no longer alive and to think about um, what that drawing means in real terms. All of us really followed um, Nancy Holtz's um, understanding because she worked with Smithson on many of his works um, and was also there during discussions, early discussions about the floating island. It does become quite literally, materially, a non-site of Central Park. Central Park was totally constructed. That's why Bob liked it so much. It was one of the reasons that he was attracted to it. Olmsted, who built the park, he was working with a wasteland up there. And he was bringing in earth and making those uh, mounds and little hillocks and creating them. They weren't there.